To the lover of wildness, Alaska offers a glorious field for either work or rest, landscape beauty in a thousand forms. Things great and small, novel and familiar, as wild and pure as paradise. Wander where you may, wildness ever fresh and ever beautiful meets you in endless variety. Ice-laden mountains, hundreds of miles of them peaked and pinnacled and crowded together like trees in groves, and so high and so divinely clad in clouds, an air that they seemed to belong more to heaven than to earth. Inlaid plains, grassy and flowery, dotted with groves and extending like seas all around to the rim of the sky. Lakes and streams shining and singing, outspread in sheets of mazy embroidery, in untraceable, measureless abundance, brightening every landscape and keeping the ground fresh and fruitful forever. Forests of evergreens growing close together like leaves of trees, girdling a thousand islands and mountains in glorious array, mountains that are monuments of the work of ice, mountains, monuments of volcanic fires, gardens filled with the fairest flowers, giving their fragrance to every wandering wind. And far to the north, thousands of miles of ocean ice, now wrapped in fog, now glowing in sunshine through nightless days and again shining in wintry splendor, Beneath the beams of the aurora sea, land, and sky, one mass of white radiance like a star. While multitudes of wild animals and wild people, clad in feathers and furs, fighting, loving, getting a living, making all the wildness wilder. Easy reach, even, of such travelers as these, especially in southeastern Alaska, where are to be fond of the finest of the forests, the highest mountains, and the largest glaciers. During the summer season, good steamships carrying passengers leave Tacoma on Puget Sound for Alaska about once a week, after touching at Seattle, Port Townsend, Victoria, Nanaimo. They go through a wilderness of islands to Wrangell, where the first stop in Alaska is made. Thence, a charming, wavering course is pursued still northward through the grandest scenery, Juneau, Chilkat, Glacier Bay, and Sitka, affording fine glimpses of the innumerable evergreen islands, the icy mountain ranges of the coast, the forests, glaciers, etc. Anybody may make this trip and be blessed by it, old or young, sick or well, soft, succulent people whose limbs have never ripened, as well as sinewy mountainers, for the climate is kindly, and one has only to breathe the exhilarating air and gaze and listen while being carried smoothly onward over the glassy waters.